So with Sagan, uh, what Flowbits allow us to do is for Sagan to remember things that happen within your network environment. So for instance, if we have somebody trying to guess passwords on a Linux system and they're unsuccessful, Sagan will remember that. So that if later on in the day, hours, uh, days later, that person successfully logs into another asset, say in your Windows side, um, it will remember that and say, no, wait a minute, you couldn't remember your password and it appears that you're brute forcing something on the Linux side, but now today suddenly you can log into this Windows server. We flag that as highly suspicious. This is the real-time correlation that happens within Sagan. This happens as it happens, as we see that successful login, which is very important. Time is a very important factor on these type of attacks. We also spend a lot of time engineering these rules. So we're coming up with these scenarios, that, just as I described, and other scenarios as well, so that if Sagan sees something, then it will, then it will alert on something else. And that's kind of the idea behind Flowbits, is to tie events together, correlate things in real time as they happen.